Welcome, fellow castigators. This weekend saw the release of Shazam! Fury of the Gods. And despite the first one being well-received, there seems to be a surprising amount of people who simply want to see it fail. Look, I get it. Superhero fatigue is widespread, and the last thing people want is generic Skybeam mayhem with a silly B-tier hero in the lead. However, those criticisms would be unfair to apply to this film. This time around, the Marvels are branching out and starting to do their own separate superhero work. Billy Batson, on the cusp of his 18th birthday, is concerned that he will be kicked out of the house when he ages out of the foster system, and he doesn't want to lose his family all over again. As he tries to keep his siblings all together, the daughters of Athena appear with the wizard's staff and begin removing the Shazam family's powers. The daughters are trying to gain access to the Rock of Eternity, wherein lies a golden apple, the seed to the Tree of Life, which the daughters of Atlas intend to use to restore the god's realm to its original glory. The plan goes wrong when Calypso, the middle child, of course, decides to use the seed to try and terraform the earth. I would complain about the MacGuffin-style plot, but... Said object is not only being true to Greek mythology, but it ends up having multiple story uses, which makes it not feel arbitrary or uninteresting. If I were to complain, though, it would probably be something about the egregious number of product placements. But I guess that's what you have to do when trying to make a sequel to a dying franchise during a nationwide recession. As for the good things... This movie is packed with the same humor and heart as the first one. The heartfelt moments may not be quite as gut-punching as in the previous movie, but the plot does lend to some surprisingly solid moments shared between the likable characters. On the other side, I think the humor actually worked better this time around. The film got quite a few legitimate laughs out of me because it leaned more into character humor rather than one-liners. The scenes between Freddy and the wizard were particularly effective for me. Speaking of the wizard, Jimon Hansau gives a standout performance. In fact, the whole cast does pretty well for child actors. Another thing I appreciated were the little improvements, like Mary Marvel being the same actress when she uses her powers, or the new costume details that definitely help them to look less cheap. I learned recently the reason they thought they could get away with the costume changes was because this movie was originally slated to premiere after The Flash, thus making it part of the reset timeline. Unfortunately, The Flash got delayed, and we got Shazam first. I think the timeline is the main reason this film is being frowned upon. Most people were rightfully convinced that James Gunn was lying when he said that Shazam would continue to be a part of the franchise, and therefore it was assumed that this Shazam sequel simply doesn't matter. I strongly believe that if James Gunn in the studio had expressed Shazam's importance in more certain terms, then they could have saved this movie. Many will blame the quality when the inevitably disappointing box office results come in, but I blame James Gunning Co. for the superbly poor marketing. As someone who has seen it, I can assure you that this film does matter to the future of DC. Furthermore, from a screenwriting perspective, the script is structured very well and wastes little time. Most of the scenes are essential to some degree, which is quite difficult to pull off. Also, the idea to put a magical dome around Philadelphia to keep the movie small-scale despite the big stakes was a brilliant move. In short, is this movie absolutely amazing? Is it noteworthy compared to other superhero films? No. Not really. But it is fun, heartfelt, consistent, and entertaining which means quite a lot in this climate. To actually be able to casually enjoy a film these days is only slightly more likely than Black Adam winning Best Picture. What I'm trying to say here is, don't listen to my fellow jaded and bitter DC fanboys 
and go see Shazam! Fury of the Gods. And just have a good time. Who knows how long it will be until we get to experience that again. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I'm excited to see more Shazam in the future. Well, this is gay. Uh, <coughs>